Hi, my name is Josie. Thank you very much for tuning back. I'm in the midst of all the political stuff. Um, we cannot change anything, so let's move on. We will buckle up for the right to come, but for now, I want you to share. I want to share with you something that happened to me, and that is a, a very crucial moment as we all transition and stuff like that. How we tell our families, and two of the thing, two of the family. There were two issues before my transition that really kind of sort of stopped me on to pursuing a transition for many years. And one was my brother, obviously, because I have been so close to him, and we, uh, uh, I mean, he knows when I'm lying, I know when he's lying, I know when he's uncomfortable, he knows when I'm uncomfortable, he uh, knows when I'm upset, even though I don't say anything at all. I know what something when something bugs him, but he doesn't want to tell you what it is and stuff like that. So we know each other very well. So I was really worried what, what he was going to think. And the other side of the uh, the other side that I was really worried about was uh, I have three nieces, which I love them to death. I love my nieces. I mean, they are the kids that I never had or will ever have. And uh, they are so, <laughs> they, uh, they take after her, after their aunt. <laughs> so they're extremely intelligent. And, um, and I used to talk to them. I try to influence their creativity and try to uh, pick their minds and... Uh, making sure that they will have a positive role in their lives, a role model in their lives. And um, so I love them very much, and so that was kind of difficult. Then I told my sister, and my sister told me uh, that I needed to remain away from my nieces because if I was not willing to go back and change and stuff like that, they needed to have some, my sister needed to tell them some, like her telling them, not me telling them. It was, she felt it was her job to actually go ahead and do this. So, is my sister, is her mother, she knows what there's uh, what is best. She she's looking after their best interest. So uh, the last time that I talked to my to my niece because I called them ever since she told me that I've been calling them here and there. I uh, just uh, I'll get on the phone with one of them and then I will ask them something and stuff like that and talk for about several minutes or even sometimes hours at a time. And that's the kind of relationship that I have with my nieces, or I had with my nieces. Yeah. And that is if, that is because I feel they are close to me and I feel I am close to them. Especially because I'm very open to my way of thinking and things like that so and obviously if I'm away from them I miss them like crazy so all this time has been really 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 trying uh, and I sometimes I I get to miss them a lot and I start crying just because I miss them because I wanted to let them know that I'm there. Um, because uh, um, all three, they're going through like early teens. is is the most harsh time. And I used to be, uh, during that time, I used to be, ex I went from very, very, very uh, quiet and submissive 
to being like extremely rebelled and off the wall. I'm very outspoken. So um I want to be there for them too. Because when I was growing up, I didn't have that kind of a uh, role model that was able to be there for me. Um, oftentimes, you you hear that uh, that saying that says, "Be the change that you want to see in the world." Which, by the way, Mahatma Gandhi didn't say that. It was somebody else. I can't remember now. But anyways, I um, I got to. Uh, I got very close with my nieces, and um, I took care of them sometimes. It was the three of them. I was by myself. <laughs> my sister needed to uh, to go on a date with my uh, with my brother in law. Uh, so my brother in law knows he has seen me. Uh, uh, he doesn't have an issue. Uh, my sister actually hit the jackpot with that man, <laughs> uh, just because of the fact that he is, uh, ever since I met him, he was like so cool, like really relaxed and, uh, um, and I was a complete asshole <laughs> to him. And I, I did apologize to him after, after the fact. Um, after um, one year or something like that. Once I knew that he was enduring my sister, I mean, the man needed uh, uh, <laughs> to be canonized. So, <laughs> anyways, so I love my nieces. And uh, so the last time that I talked to the eldest, I noticed something was off. Long story short, we spent like almost two hours talking. And I kept on asking her, so how are you doing? Are you okay? Because I knew something was off. And then after the, after, after the fact, basically after the phone call, she sends me a, send, a, a text message. Of which I would like to share with you. I'm just going to omit some names and stuff like that. So... Um, Bear with me. She's 15 years old. And um, she's already in high school. So uh, she said, she asked me, like, oh, she, she's like, she messaged me. She's like, I forgot to ask this. Do you still want me to call you Theo? Or do you want to, or do you want me to call? Or do you want something else? I froze. When I saw that, I froze. I didn't know what to think. I didn't, like, I'm like, how did she find out? But obviously, I'm not going to say, hey, your mother told you? So I said, it all depends. So she asked, she answered, I am flexible with anything. It's all what you want. I'm like, why the question? Because I didn't know if you still want me to call you Tio, which is basically uncle in Spanish. So then we got off subject and stuff like that. And I, I got out of subject, and then she's like, she's like, um, do you need any makeup or anything? Because I have some that I don't use. And I'm like, what? <laughs> and then she's like, whoa, uh, how do I say? Okay, uh, have you seen the new movie Ghostbusters? So, <laughs> in a way, we were actually just going back and forth and then uh she's like okay and what is the deal with the with with the makeup am i that ugly 
Or is it for the wrinkles? <laughs> and then she's like, no, I didn't know if you want any. I never use it. I have mascara and I'm never gonna use it. I have like a powder you put on the makeup. And I'm like, I am confused. I didn't know, my sister didn't tell me that she told her. She didn't tell me, so I was not gonna bring it up. So I'm trying to put the pieces of puzzle together, you know? Obviously, at that point, to me, it's extremely obvious that she knows. And I'm like, how do I tell her? I'm, uh, I'm confused. And she's like, so am I. And, she, and I'm like, really? She's like, probably. Ah! <laughs> That's what she does. She never answers. She never answers a question. She leaves. She she leaves you in limbo. So you don't even know what to what to deal with it. And then she changed the subject. And I'm like, okay. Long story short, um, she says. Um, She goes on to say, like, uh, and I told her, I was like, hey, I'm still thinking that, that I'm missing some information or I am not aware of some news. And then she answered, oh, yeah, some of mine told me that you have been through the changes and stuff, and I want to tell you that I know. I started to cry at that point. And uh, and I asked, I didn't know that. How do you feel? And, um, and I told her, it has been one of my worst fears. And she's like, I feel fine. You're still the same person type thing. And it's not affecting me too much. So it is affecting her in, at some degree. And um, and then she goes like, "Oh, she hasn't. Uh, it has not affected me at all. But I know that it has a change. It has it has changed a little bit. But I don't want to hide. I don't want them to think that they." lost their uncle. Um, I when I was a kid I uh, sometimes we were actually like about uh, five or six I was five or six after I knew something was off like around the age of four, but uh, there was this uh, this uncle that I had that I had, and every single time that he was there to visit, he would be playing with us. He would be laughing with us, and he was the uncle you know the one that you actually like once once the person goes through the door you are like yay and then just just jump because you're a kid and you're like celebrating and your uncle is there or your aunt is there I uh, I lost my uncle to alcoholism and that uh, and after that I even though I had 
uncles and aunts on both sides of the family. No one wanted to be that close. Everybody was too busy to even really care. So I wanted to be like my uncle for my nieces. I wanted to be the person that they will remember like, oh, you remember that time when... And... Um... So when she told me that she knew I was... I was in a way liberated and I was... I was so happy, I wanted to cry. Actually, I did cry. And, um... It is... They can see you're the same person. You cannot fool a child. A person that is able to see in your heart will see it. And uh, I'm not really sure how is that going to affect the, uh, the other two that are younger. I miss them a lot. I I'm always thinking about them. You know, I mean, I don't have children, so they occupy most of my time. And I and now one of them knows. It is, it is really exciting and scary at the same time. Being able to to keep the uh, the expectations. So for for a while we're talking about. <laughs> After that, we're talking about so many, so many different things, and uh, she wants to learn how to dance. So she learned that she has a some sort of crazy aunt. <laughs> um, I've done things that my sister has never done. Uh. I mean, within limits, obviously, but I want them to know that uh, if that I I've experienced uh, in. And that um, they can trust me again. So I'm really, really happy about my niece. I'm really happy that she's okay. Um, she wants to see me. I want to see her. I want to hug her in... Most likely, I'm not gonna be wearing any makeup that at that point because I'm gonna be balling. I know that. Uh, stupid estrogen. <laughs> I would not shed a tear before, you know. I'm like, oh. 
but anyways, that, so that's my rant for for today on the positive side. Um, always look at the bright side of life. So, I with with that, I want to say thank you. In if if you are going to tell your whether are your nieces, nephews, or even your kids, be very patient. Understand that their world is changing for them. But you is extremely important that you have to let them understand that you're still the same person. Obviously, I didn't cry before, but I guess that it comes with the territory, right? Thank you very much for tuning back, and uh, hopefully. Uh, Oh my gosh, I'm dying to see my, my nieces. It has been over a year. Ugh. Have a good night. Bye.